guys since you all really liked the first part of this video where i discussed un organizations offering paid internships to students and recent graduates i decided to do a part 2 where i will discuss even more un organizations that are offering the same thing so if you guys haven't watched out my first video make sure you check it out and if you are a student or a recent graduate make sure you watch this video till the end so the first organization is who which I know you all must be already familiar with it stands for world health organization now this organization is dealing with major health issues around the world they make sure that people have access to medicines and that they get the highest level of health so the eligibility to apply for these internships is you need to be enrolled in either your bachelor's master's phd program or you can be a recent graduate now let's say if you are a recent graduate you must have finished your degree not more than six months ago. And if you still are in your bachelor's degree, you must have completed at least three years of your degree program. Now, the benefits for this internship is you will receive a living allowance every month depending on the duty station. So I know that in Geneva, you can get around 1700 euros per month. Also, you will get a medical as well as accident insurance coverage. You will also get lunch vouchers at some duty stations. So let's say if you are like working in Geneva, they will give you some money every day so that you can buy your lunch at the office. What I really like about WHO is once you are on their internships page, you will see on the top right corner, there's this instructions for candidates. If you click on it, it's a whole guide on how you can apply to WHO job opportunities. If you scroll down, you can see that there are multiple sections that you need to fill in order to apply. And this document will help you do it. So I highly suggest that you go through this document before applying. The next organization is WFP, which stands for World Food Program. Now this organization is dealing with fighting hunger worldwide. They make sure to deliver food assistance in case of emergencies and they're working with communities to improve nutrition. So the eligibility criteria to apply for their internships is you need to be enrolled in either an undergraduate or a graduate program. If you are in your bachelor's degree, you need to have completed at least two years of your degree program. If you are a recent graduate, you must have graduated within the past six months and not more than that. Now the benefits for this internship is you will receive a stipend every month and the maximum amount that you can get is a US dollar thousand per month. Now for the medical insurance, you have to cover that unfortunately yourself. And before the internship starts, you need to show them the proof that you have medical insurance. For the travel expenses, you have to do it yourself. But if you are from a developing country, your travel tickets and expenses will be reimbursed by the organization. Once you are on the WFP website and you go to the internships, then you can scroll down and if you click here, find an internship, you will get a list of all the internships that are available at the moment. And if you scroll down further, here you can see that the World Food Program has been awarded with a gold standard internship host badge by the University of Oxford for the quality and support of the internship programs that they provide to the students. So that's a good thing. Next, we have WTO, which stands for World Trade Organization. This organization deals with rules of trade between nations. Now, the eligibility criteria is you need to be a national of a WTO member state. If you want to know if you are a national of a country belonging to the WTO member states, go to Google, type it, and you will get a list of all the countries. You also need to have finished your bachelor's degree and also one year of your postgraduate degree to apply for their internships. Now, the benefits for this is you will get a daily allowance of around 61 euros. Medical insurance, you have to cover yourself. Travel expenses, you have to do it yourself. Once you are on the WTO website and you search for internships, you will see that there are actually three internship programs at the WTO. In my video, I just discussed the first one. But if you're interested in reading about the other ones, you can come to this page and read about them. So to apply to these internships, you need to apply via the WTO external jobs platform. Next, we have IFAD, which stands for International Fund for Agricultural Development. They are working on eliminating rural poverty and hunger. Now, the internship eligibility criteria is 
you need to be currently enrolled in either an undergraduate or a graduate program. If you are in your undergraduate program, you need to have finished at least two years of your degree and you can also be a recent graduate. The benefits are you will get a monthly allowance, housing allowance, as well as travel allowance. Unfortunately, I don't have any info on how much they will provide you. Now we are on the IFAD website and we are at the internships page. If you scroll down, you can see that to apply to internships, you need to be registered as an intern in their applicant system. And then you can click on view all jobs and filter by internships and apply. The last one is the UNHCR, which stands for United Nations High Commissioner for Refugees. Now, the primary purpose of this organization is to build a better future for the refugees. So the internship eligibility criteria is you need to be enrolled in either an undergraduate or a graduate program. If you are in your undergraduate program, you must have finished at least two years of your degree program and you can also be a recent graduate. Now, the benefits for this internship are you will receive food allowance, local transportation allowance, as well as living allowance. Medical insurance, you have to cover yourself. Travel expenses, you will get reimbursement for traveling to and from the duty station. Now we are on the UNHCR website on the internships page. We will scroll down until we find the vacancies. So internships are advertised on the main UNHCR recruitment platform. So let's see the current vacancies. So once you are on this page, what you can do to make it easy for you is filter according to internships. And now we only have a list of the internships. So currently there are 17 internships. That was it for today's video. Before ending, I want to discuss some important points. So for the visa arrangements, once you get an internship offer from any of these organizations, they will support you with the required documents, which will make it easy for you to apply for visa. But it's on your own, you have to apply it yourself. To work in the UN, you need to be fluent in one of the UN languages, which are English, Spanish, Russian, French, Arabic, and Chinese. You need to know that every application process is different. So the UNHCR can have a different application process. The IAEA can have a different application process. You need to fill out the form again and again, again and again. And the idea is to have a good cover letter and a good CV. And every time you're applying to an internship, try modifying your cover letter a bit according to those job requirements. I will make sure to link all those websites in this description so that it will be easier for you to like go to the links and see if any internship interests you. One last suggestion is to bookmark all of those websites on the front page of your Chrome so that whenever you're opening Chrome for any reason, you will have those bookmarks and they will remind you to search for internships and apply. So thank you for watching and let me know if you guys have any questions. Feel free to put it in the comments below. See you guys in my next video. Bye.